gamers paid extra money for these? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 strangest video game collector's editions. Where's everyone going? Bingo? For this list, we'll be going over some of the most bizarre things included with special or collector's editions of video games. What now, Sarge? Secure the surrounding area. Wait for the Major's orders. Why do we rest? Number 10, Chainsaw Controller, Resident Evil 4. What are they planning? Chainsaw. A game controller that looks like a bloody chainsaw? Resident Evil 4's bizarre peripheral is not only made in the shape of the common zombie killing instrument, but it also includes a ripcord to start the game, motion controls, and sound effects. Oh, and unique blood splatter on the blades for each controller. That's... neat? Sorry to have bothered you. This entry in the long-running horror franchise is amongst its most widely ported. And while its GameCube edition could make use of a chainsaw controller sold separately, only the PlayStation 2 version featured a collector's edition with a controller and case included. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. Number 9. Display Canteen. Call of Duty, World at War. Listen up. I want to get through the rest of this quick and clean. You hear me? Quick and clean. The Call of Duty franchise has often featured some bizarre collector's editions, but this one is easily the most baffling. The limited collector's edition for Call of Duty World at War includes some standard, if unfair, advantages for those who bought it, including an early pass to unlock a weapon and a week's worth of double experience. Don't think twice. Hold on. I want you off the beach and at that tree line ASAP! As far as physical items, besides the metal tin it all comes in, the edition also includes a canteen. However, the canteen is for display only, as the inside is apparently lined with lead. While the canteen is in keeping with the game's World War II setting, the fact that its makers took a functional item and deprived it of the very thing it's supposed to be used for is just an odd choice. Into the river, Dimitri! It's our only chance! Go! Number 8. The Really Naughty Limited Edition, Record of Agarest War. This relatively obscure Japanese RPG game is heavy on the strategy end of gameplay, but it also follows several generations of characters who can be changed depending on who your various protagonists pair off with. This gives Record of Agarest War a dating sim element, and as anyone familiar with the genre will tell you, there tends to be a lot of fan service. Even more than others, this is something that this game's really naughty limited edition, seriously, that's what it's actually called, really leans into. Along with featuring scantily clad female characters on the cover of the box, this version also includes a pillowcase and a mouse pad whose wrist rest is in the shape of a character's breasts. You know what? To each their own. Number 7. Smelly Model, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. I told you to stay out of here! <laughs> Resident Evil 7 returned the franchise to its survival horror roots. Unfortunately, some of its collector's editions elicited horror from those who purchased them. Not only did the editions not include the game itself, which is irritatingly common, but the editions varied widely by region. You know, I, I actually envy you. What? You don't believe me? Although most received DLC, only Japan got a soundtrack, while Europe and Australia were the only ones to get an anniversary art book. Worst of all, though, were the version differences between Europe and North America. While those on the west of the Atlantic got a realistic Dollfinger USB and a music box model of the house the game is set in, Europe received a cheap looking finger USB and a model of the house that reportedly smelled bad. Have you searched the whole house? No, not yet. I still need to check the second floor here. All right. Number 6. Hot and Spicy Everything Nicey Limited Edition. Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God. <laughs> this fairly standard dungeon crawler has a strange enough twist given that it's focused on finding legendary curry ingredients. But its American Limited Edition, titled Hot and Spicy Everything Nicey, rolls with its weird tone in a way that makes us scratch our heads. 
The limited edition contains a plastic plate and spoon shaped like the game's mascot, as well as a baby's bib. While we can appreciate that the people who made them wanted to do something that fit the game's theme, we're not sure that cheap plastic eating utensils and neckwear for messy eaters was the way to go. Number 5. Baby Pod – Death Stranding Hideo Kojima is known for having some strange elements in his games, and Death Stranding is among his most bizarre projects to date. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the game's collector's edition is similarly strange. While it includes the usual in-game bonuses, keychain, and unnecessarily cumbersome case, it also includes one of the extremely disturbing baby pods as seen in the game. It even lights up! A few hundred in exchange for one of the creepiest lighting fixtures imaginable? We're sure some folks out there find it appealing, but we doubt many of them will be displaying this particular collector's edition for all to see. Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Number 4. The Victor Edition Crater. Confident here right now! A little known RTS game from Swedish developer Fat Shark, Crater isn't exactly a household name. In fact, possibly the most well known thing about it is a proposed collector's edition costing $10,000. For that amount of money, you'd think there'd be some serious swag involved. This unique package called the Victor Edition instead offered for the game developer Victor Magnusson to come to the purchaser's house. Once there, he would cook a meal and play the game with you. With Crater, we have focused on what we think is the foundation of any good RPG. While this might have gotten the game attention, the fact that it's no longer listed on their website leaves us feeling pretty sure that no one took them up on their offer. Number 3. The Trance Vibrator Edition – Res Just to get it out of the way, it's not that kind of vibrator. Then again, the game's creator did say that you could place it anywhere on the body. Anyways, Res is a hybrid between a rail shooter and a rhythm game for the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2. Although the game made use of its system's vibrational controls to move in time with the beats, some additions came packaged with a dedicated vibration peripheral. Although a mostly forgotten and strange addition to a fun, if similarly forgotten game, recently Res and its vibrator has re-entered the conversation due to the release of Res Infinite, a VR update of the game. We suppose the old school peripheral could help make the immersion even more complete. Number 2. The Super Dangerous Wad Wad Edition – Saints Row 4 the saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. The Saints Row series is known for its outlandish and over-the-top content, and this special edition is no exception. For the measly price of a million dollars, purchasers could purportedly receive the game, as well as a replica dubstep gun, a hostage rescue experience, a spy training day, a trip to space, plastic surgery, a personal shopper, week-long stays in Dubai and Washington DC, including first-class flights to get there, a Toyota Prius and Lamborghini Gallardo, as well as insurance for a year and membership with Supercar. You couldn't resist, could you? All that may sound like it's worth the money, but the total value only tops at around 630k, so there's literally zero incentive to buy it even if you could. Want more video game content? Check out our gaming channel Mojo Plays and discover games and ideas you never knew existed. With more lists, breakdowns, and our latest series, Arcade Roulette. Justin and John are in! Oh. Hey, is that Porky Pig? Mm. There's a lot of things being ripped off in this game. Number 1. The Spotlight Edition. Dying Light, The Following. Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. This zombie survival horror game is unique on our list for having not one, but two ridiculous editions. Although we were tempted to choose the My Apocalypse edition, which includes its own custom zombie survival shelter, we decided the spotlight deserves to go to the Spotlight edition. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. 
For a whopping $10 million, developer Techland offered four copies of the game itself and a speaking role in a Dying Light movie, as well as acting lessons, parkour training, an off-road driving course, a personal trainer on set, a screening tour, VIP tickets for opening night, a makeup session, a copy of the script, and a voiceover role in the special edition of the game. The film in question never actually got made. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.